What's up guys, I am back to bring you your recap on Celebrity Big Brother Season 2, Episode 8. My God, I'm getting us caught up. And first and foremost, let's address that Tom and Kato are still trying to, or were still trying to find the power of the publicist, my God, which I'm confused. Why was it so important to find out who has the power of the publicist? I feel like at the end of the day, it doesn't change anything. You trying to figure that out, I guess figuring it out so you don't waste it on somebody and they'll be able to backdoor you, you use it against you. But the reality of it is there is bigger fish to fry. And I was in agreement with Tom and Kato wanting to backdoor Ricky because I feel like he's a tad bit messy trying to slide under the radar and playing both sides, my God. But for some reason, Lolo and I think Natalie went off. Lolo went off the most. Like, she really goes the hell off for no reason. She was so mad at Tom for allegedly being paranoid because he doesn't trust Ricky. But nobody should trust Ricky, my God, because, like I said, he's playing both sides. And I feel like Tom and Kato caught on to that. So it was weird that Natalie was totally against it, as well as Lolo against getting rid of Ricky, who at the end of the day, when you think about fierce competitors, you don't want Ricky at the end. Then you had Lolo and Natalie's ass go back, then tell Ricky that Tom and Kato are trying to backdoor him. I'm like, are they playing this game right? And then Natalie said, backdooring Ricky absolutely does nothing for her nor benefit her. Yes, it does, stupid all. You keeping somebody who is less qualified or less athletic does benefit you in the long run. And then Lolo even said, oh, that's the worst possible plan. How is getting rid of Candy's ass or Joey's ass a better possible plan, my God? Then they did have the football veto challenge, my God. That challenge was crazy because anything going in circles would throw me off. I can't even get on the teacup. My God, the teacup right at the carnival. I was on that one time and I threw up. My God, I think I'm about 10, 11 or 12 years old. And I literally threw up because I can't just do stuff in the circle. So them going around in the circle, it seemed like it was going to be easy for them to go around in the circle, run and kick it. But they were baby acting like they were drunk and couldn't get it together. My God, especially Dina. And then you had others who just could not pull it together at all. But Tom held his own, oh my God. Tom beat Joey and Candy, my God, but he did not beat Natalie. I think the last two that were left up to battle out for the veto win was Natalie and Lolo, and Natalie's ass won. Now, I was so annoyed when it was time to select if you were going to use the veto or not. Natalie's ass gonna try to say, I'm going to honor the HOH and uh, leave who he selected in place. How are you honoring the HOH when the HOH wanted you to remove Joey and put Ricky in there, my God? So it was crazy, it was a great episode, but these people, I guess, being kept away from the outside world, seem like they're going crazy. Then you had Joey trying to get Natalie and Lolo on his side like Joey, boo. As I've said in the previous recap, you are a tad bit a little too late, my God, out there on that limb by yourself trying to find an alliance. Then you had Lolo's ass go off again on Tom and Kato because they were upset about all of the acting. And the reality of it is Lolo's ass is a liar because although I get you playing the game, you lied bold faced acting like you were not acting because you were acting when it came to you planning to not use the veto and not put Ricky up for elimination, my God. You and Natalie's ass was acting and y'all was mad because Tom and Kato caught on to y'all BS. But yet, y'all were supposed to be in an alliance with them as well. I'm sorry, I'm not for keeping Ricky at all. Then, the ending. Candy versus Joey. I need Candy to fix her face, my God, because she looks so mean during elimination round, my God. She is giving off something that I just don't want. I want her to be more pleasant in her facial to be more likable, maybe because she can't see herself, she doesn't know. But the reality of it is, Joey did get voted off unanimously. And I think everyone figured out that 
it is no reason to get rid of Candy's ass because she has yet to win a challenge and she has yet to successfully um, beat anybody, my God. So keep her to the end because you'll probably be able to get over on her very easily. But Joey was kicked out the house, my God. Not surprisingly at all because he wasn't playing the game properly. He did say that he never watched the show before. He only wanted to do it because his daughters are too young to have known him when he was on TV. So he wanted to give them opportunity to see him on TV again. You sound stupid as hell, Joey. At the end of the day, everybody here, or most people here are parents. If not, at least some of them are parents. A good portion are parents. And if you were going to agree to this, you should have at least tried to watch a full one season or something or some episodes to see that Alliance isn't playing this game as it goes a certain kind of a way because he's so stuck on, oh, this is so foul. It's a game, bruh, you gotta win. Then baby, I about gagged because while the world was trying to make uh, Tamar Braxton the angry black woman, Joey's white ass called Lolo out to low key for being the angry black woman of the house. He said, you can't say anything, my God, and she will go off on you. He said, don't question her, don't ask her for help, don't, whatever it is, she will go off on you and come at you. And he said, granted, it may work for her in the Olympics, but it hasn't worked because she only came in fourth, my God. She hasn't come in first, second, or third. But I'm gagging how Lolo is trying to, or was trying to, come at Tamar for always popping off. Now here you have a man who's acknowledging and calling out Lolo's ass for being the one who pops off for no reason, my God. But that's about it, guys. A short little recap to get us caught up. So please follow me on all social media outlets. Thumbs up this video. Comment down below in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. Become a part of the Notification Ministry Share this video and thank you guys for tuning in. Bye guys. <laughs>